All right, so I got a record here, a book, and a couple movies here to show you. Kind of a smaller haul video. To be honest, I thought by now I would have more things that would have shown up in the mail. I ordered a big Prime Day haul. None of that showed up yet. I have a couple pre-orders that may or may not show up soon. I don't know. Uh, they haven't even shipped yet, so... the. So, you know, I just have three things here to show you. And they're cool things, don't get me wrong. I'm happy I have them, but it's just like, I don't know. First one uh, I grabbed here. I went into Target. And the reason why is I went to go get a pizza yesterday. And the pizza place didn't open. Uh, on, like, as soon as I got there. So I was like, well, let me go in the Dollar Tree. And I bought a book there. I'll show you that book in a minute. But when I went into Target, I also want to check them out again because last I checked them, they had a lot of Target, like, exclusive Blu-rays on clearance. I want to see if maybe they got some more in uh, that I didn't see that were marked down. They didn't. Um, there's a lot of them marked down, though. Even new stuff like that new Nicolas Cage movie. And it makes me mad because, like, me, for example, I went and I bought that Nicolas Cage movie day one. So, you know, I ended up, like, buying this movie day one that like two weeks later is seven bucks and so i just paid like almost 25 dollars with tax and everything it's kind of annoying but what i did find is they had a lot of vinyls on clearance now none of them i wanted um they did have the proud family vinyl but i already bought this day one now if you want this this is going for five dollars um, they had the Pokemon vinyl. I don't like Pokemon, so, uh, so I didn't need that. I was thinking about grabbing it for a friend, but I just, I just passed on it, and I was like, hey, if he wants it, there's a lot of them, and he kind of got, got them, and then all the other ones were, like, newer artists on vinyl, not really, like, things I would want personally, but I did find Respect, uh, the movie soundtrack, which, um, this was an awful movie. I did review it um, when it came out last year in September. I did not like this movie at all. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of Aretha Franklin. And just to see that was the movie that she approved about her life before she died is just insulting. Um, and I just cannot believe that. Uh, this is a... This is... But, you know, her music is fantastic. And I did pop these vinyls in. They sound really good. On the player. Uh, this was $9. Uh, with tax and everything on vinyl. And I thought that was a really good deal. Uh, for you know. A, like. I mean you got. You know. You got. Right here. Uh, the first. Record here. You know it's, two, it's a two set vinyl. Um, you know. Nothing like that new vinyl smell, you know, as uh, Serial Midnight would say. Uh, by the way, check that channel on YouTube. Fantastic channel. Um, and then you got this, you know, booklet with images of the movie and some other stuff. Yeah, I, I mean, I wasn't a big fan of this movie. If you want to see a really good musical biopic, um, you know, watch that new Elvis movie. Way better. Uh, big fan of Elvis as well, but just disappointed this movie didn't tickle my fancy when it came to uh, Aretha Franklin and her music. And I guess, speaking on that music train, let's get into this book I found at the Dollar Tree. This is Thanks a Lot, Mr. Kibblewhite, the Roger Daltrey story. Um, this is a memoir uh, about Robert Daltrey and his life. And... Uh, I don't think it's written by him. I don't think it... It doesn't actually say who it's written by um, on the outside. Let's see. Um, but yeah, um, this was a really neat find at the Dollar Tree. Because if you don't know Roger Daltrey, if you know the band The Who, uh, you, you know, um, the band The Who, he's one of the founding members of the band. He's, uh, you know, a pretty important musician in, like, music history and stuff. So this was a really neat find as someone who loves that those kind of books. I have a few of those books myself. I have, like, uh, some Pink Floyd books and some uh, other books. You know, I got some cool stuff. But if you know this, uh, if you know this um, 
if you know Roger Daltrey, this is definitely something interesting. I mean, The Who has kind of become a controversial band, though, because one of them is, you know, under fire nowadays for being um, a pedophile, basically. Uh, or at least, I, I think it's accused or it was found out. I, I, tr I didn't really keep track with that, and I probably should because, I don't know. But it wouldn't really change my feelings on any of this because, like, you know, like, no matter how bad of people these people are and you should you know call that out and be against that of course but when it comes to these people uh who are musicians and have this legacy of music this guy changed music history you ain't gonna take what he did to music history out of history you know you may not like him and you may not want to support him but for me I don't know. I don't know if it was Roger Daltrey, what member of the Who it was, but it, it's. I want to check this out and read it. Um, like maybe that's why this was at the Dollar Tree. Maybe people just don't feel comfortable buying books about, you know, him. But I don't know. But I'm interested to check it out, and I thought that was a cool find at the Dollar Tree. And uh, you know, it seems like you know a lot of the Dollar Trees uh, are getting a new Blu-rays. Mine didn't have any, unfortunately, but I did find that book. And they did have books last time. I didn't see that one. And I was pretty happy with that find. Um, but yeah. And then uh, on Grove. Uh, Groove or Grove. However you say it. Um, they had a weekend deal. And I, I don't know. I always pass on their weekend deals. Even though they are just for a weekend. Because. I mean they're good deals. But you know sometimes you just got to let deals go. And save money. But. Uh, these ones I wanted for a while, and every time they go on sale on there, I think, I should get that, and then I just end up not, but this time I went and grabbed them, Ted 1 and 2, um, these were $9 together in one set, and I, I did really want these, if, if you haven't seen these movies, they're not, like, great classic movies, they're just fun movies, uh, Seth MacFarlane, if you know Seth MacFarlane, he created Family Guy and stuff, and, um, he directed these movies. It was his like directorial debut, and it's they're kind of fun movies. Uh, the like the animation on Ted the Doll's really interesting how they did it, and Mark Wahlberg is a lot of fun in these movies. These movies are fun comedies. Uh, they're definitely like fun movies to watch. I, they might go down as comedy classics, but I feel like if that was gonna happen, we would already feel that because it, it has been about ten years since these movies came out. And uh, I don't, I don't think they are gonna go down as classic, but they're fun movies. And I, I was, I really wish Seth MacFarlane would direct more movies, because the, these two movies are a lot of fun. And then you got uh, a million ways to die in the West, which isn't good, but I, I appreciate the te the attempts with that and all that stuff. It, it's kind of unfortunate, but you know, I wish he had gotten to uh, do that. You know, but he didn't, unfortunately. And hopefully he is able to go out there and make more movies in the future. But I, I think he's not. I think he's going to do this on TV. And there is going to be a, I, there is a TED series that's in development at Peacock. And I think Seth MacFarlane is probably going to move over there because he's not a big fan of Fox. I mean, he's been working with them for years. They've kind of screwed him over. They... I think, you know, they just came out with the Orville season three on Hulu, but who knows if that show's going to get picked up for season four, and uh, just a lot of that's up in the air, and they just kind of really screwed this dude over, so I think he just wants to go over to Peacock, um, and, you know, so I think it's fine by me if he wants to do that, I'll support him wherever he goes, but yeah, it's kind of weird we got a Bob's Burgers movie before he, uh, before an, an actual Family Guy movie directed by Seth MacFarlane just feels weird to me, um, but I I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna rewatch these movies soon and have some fun with that. And I will probably end up reviewing these movies before that TED series comes out because I'm definitely gonna watch it because I love these movies. Um, not great movies, but movies that I definitely have a soft spot for. And when I, I used to, I actually watched Ted, the first one on HBO Max a lot, and then they removed it. Um, so I kind of did need to buy these movies at some point, because I do watch these movies quite a bit, so...